Hello everyone, it's been a while since I've been able to do a video. One of the main reasons is I've kind of been waiting for this to arrive. It was supposed to arrive, oddly enough, the same day that the Pink Floyd Later Years box set um, I ordered arrived. But it got pushed back about a year or so, uh, not a year, a month or so, um, and it's finally here. So this is the Beamdog Ultimate Collectors Pack um, I, for the Switch. Uh, well, it's out on a few consoles at the moment, but I got the Switch version. You can see it contains the Enhanced Edition of Neverwinter Nights. It contains the Enhanced Edition of Planescape Torment and Icewind Dale. And it contains the Enhanced Editions of Baldur's Gate and Baldur's Gate 2, including the Dragon Sphere Expansion Pack. So I'm actually really excited for this. Uh, Neverwinter Nights was probably one of the first... I think they call them CRPGs. It was one of the first CRPGs I played. And I've never really gotten the chance to play Baldur's Gate or um, any of the others. I always kind of wanted to. So getting these enhanced editions is a very good incentive to do so. And I got them on the Switch because I thought, you know, they'd be good games for portability. You know, I could just take my Switch out with me, play about half an hour or so. And then be done. So this is the Enhanced Collector's Edition. So I've got the three games here. Um, so it's about £200 in total. Um, but, you know, for one, two, three, four, five games, including all the box of goodies here, I think it's a pretty decent deal. Uh, with them being Switch games, they'll probably run you about £40, £50 each. Um, do appreciate on PC, these games have probably been out a while and are probably cheaper. Um, also appreciate on other consoles, PS4 and Xbox One, they might be a bit cheaper. But, whatever. So let's just delve straight into the box. So you can see it's a lovely, kind of, made it look like a chest with the giant iron there. You've got your logos of the games there. Got nothing on this side, just kind of some credits and such. Let me flip it open. So you get quite a lot of goodies with this. So obviously the most striking thing is uh, the skull here. I'm going to call him Murray. So we've got what looks to be an art card here. I will just take that off. Yes, yeah, so this is a series of art cards. We've got that there. That one. That. And the final one is this one. So those are really, really lovely. And they will hopefully find a, pl a place and be framed and find somewhere on the walls around here. We are at premium for space. I'm going to leave the skull to last. So next up, I have to be careful about how I get stuff out here. Next up is this. A lovely poster tube. Get that out. Very satisfying pop. I will never get this back in the tube now. So this is a map. It's a map of the Sword Coast and all the areas. So actually hold it along there you can kind of see all the various areas that we play in in these games I believe yeah, actually the spinal world never went of wood that's a very nice map it's not really come up the best on the camera I feel but a really nice thing regardless that back in there. Now next up we'll take out this box. There's some more goodies down there. Is there anything else under that? I don't think so. Some more stuff in there. Some more stuff here. Okay, so next up we've got a pin badge. All just get pin badge. And we've got a Planescape Torment one. So those are really, really lovely. Tell you what, I'll actually get them out so we can have a feel of them. 
Yeah, so they feel really, really nice. Very nice detail on them. Get the Baldur's Gate one out as well. Yeah, you can see that. That feels really, really nice again. Really nice detail on them. So, go for this steel tin here. And what we've got. It's just black protective foam. Oh wow, we've got a set of dice. And those feel really, in fact those feel like you could probably kill someone with them. Just very metallic, well metal dice. Those are lovely. Um, yeah, those, those are very, very nice. Um, maybe one day, if I ever do actually sit down to play D&D, I will use these. So what have we got next? This one actually intrigues me. So this, I think this is just a leather bound notebook. Yes it is. So I don't know if you can see the detail very well on that. There we go, let's tilt it up into the light a little bit. See the detail on that. And yeah, that's just Oh, that's a line notebook, but there's some uh, few little pictures kind of scattered around in there. Just of various bits of artwork. Again, a really lovely piece of cake. I kind of don't know if I'll ever use this, because I don't know if... You know, it kind of feels too nice to be used, especially to muddy up with my pathetic handwriting. Alright, let's get Murray out here. Murray, the skull, very squishy. Look at him. Whoa. See into your soul. Ha ha ha. Murray, the evil demonic talking skull. Watch as he strides through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike as a testament to evil. Rolls, rolls through the gates of hell. And finally, we have this box here, if I can actually get to it. I actually didn't expect this kit to be as large as it was, if I'm being honest with you. So what have we got here? We have a final piece of kit. Which is in protective garb. Pull that out. Oh, wow. Okay, that is pretty heavy. Oh, wow. Now that is a centerpiece for anyone's coffee table, isn't it? That is amazing. That is really, really heavy. <laughs> and that is so lovely. De that is such lovely detail on that. It's just... It's like a nice little felt insert here as well. I think this is like meant to be like a dice tray or something. Look at that. When I looked at the images for this, I didn't realise that this was this size. I thought it was going to be about that size, and I thought it was going to be plastic, and that is not. That is really, really nice. I'm actually really surprised. Like The detail on it, the paint job, is absolutely lovely. And I think that is pretty much everything we have in this box set. I'll leave you there. I don't know what to call him. We've got Murray over here still. Where did I put Murray? Put Murray. Do, do, do. Ah. Murray and Bob. There we go. So that's the Beamdog Ultimate Collector's Edition. A lot of 400 million hours worth of games there, and a lot of really nice gear to go along with it. Thank you all very much for watching. See you sometime in the future.